The Cards 1.3 update, we're bringing in a few report design related updates. The first is uniform layout. In Zebra BI Cards, we have started with a free layout where each card could be customized separately, which made the whole visual super flexible. Now we're introducing a uniform layout where it's much easier to prepare a design if you wish to have cards of the same size. We've also added a neat tooltip to help you select the exact card size. And now to the long awaited color options. From the 1.3 release onwards, you will be able to set global and individual card background colors and also global border colors. Here, you can change the global background color. And here, you can set the border color. For individual background color, you switch to the focus mode and select it there. This enables you to create corporate branded reports with customized backgrounds and border colors, the dark themed report, and by using the single color background, you can also highlight individual cards. And now let's switch to the Charts 6.0 updates. In the Charts visual, we've been preparing the so-called foundations for the further improvements in the Charts legend. What you can do now is open a drop-down directly on the visual and rename the legend entry. In the near future, we will add more settings to this area as well. Additionally, we've updated the data model that is running in the background of the Zebra BI Charts to Matrix View. This change has enabled us to relaunch the 2D small multiples. Small multiples are one of the most distinguishing Zebra BI features. Let's create one. We add quarter, sales, previous year, and category. These are now the three small multiples. If I now add an additional measure, a segment, I get a two-dimensional matrix of perfectly scaled small multiples. That's it. Let us know which one of these features you like the most and stay tuned, we've got a lot more coming up.